With the majority of global grain and all seed production now known for the remainder of the 1920 season, there are now two major drivers for grain and all seed markets, consumption and the production outlook for next season. Starting with the all seed market, the near-term global outlook is currently being influenced by the coronavirus outbreak and the global spread of the disease. As the vegetable oil market is underpinned by the crude oil market, and as the coronavirus impact has the potential to reduce global oil demand, the continued spread of the virus will dictate much of the global oil seed market sentiment. Yet while crude oil markets are the current underlying driver behind oil seed markets, US soybean markets are also at risk from further coronavirus impacts. With much of the support for US soybeans having come from expectations of Chinese purchase commitments, should US exports to China fail to materialise or slow, then there could be further pressure on US soybean markets, along with a longer term pressure from potentially record Brazilian crop. This global oil and oilseed market pressure has also filtered into rapeseed markets, with a gap between alternative vegetable oils only able to widen so far. For grains, in the short term, both wheat and maize markets are also facing pressure from the impact of coronavirus. With an already sluggish US maize export programme below expectation or a fall in export sales, it could add further pressure to US markets and in turn, also global and domestic wheat markets. Looking closer at the UK domestic market, the wet autumn and impacted winter wheat planting has set the tone for the remainder of the season. With UK wheat markets likely to remain close to import parity levels throughout next season and the current season's crop having gained support on the back of this. However, with a potentially larger domestic barley crop next season and the prospects for a return to importing large volumes of maize in 2021, new crop domestic wheat markets will struggle to push significantly higher than has already been recorded. Links to the February AHDB early bird planting survey can be found below. And while intentions and reality may well differ, this provides insight to the impacted autumn planting and subsequent spring intentions.